In this episode, I'll show you how to achieve the popular teal and orange look while you're editing the videos only on your phone. It's easy busy. Let's jump to the video. Hey there, my name is Gabriel and very often when I'm preparing some video for social media, I'm editing them on the phone because it's much faster than to transfer them to Premiere, edit in Premiere, export and then export back to the phone and upload. Sometimes it's much faster to edit directly on the phone. But there is one small thing, not always I can achieve the color grade I would like to have. And now I'll show you how you can achieve the popular T1 orange look with your phone. The first thing I have to turn on the screen recording so you see what I'm doing. In that video I'll show you two methods. Okay, we're recording. For the first method, we're gonna use a program called VideoLeap. Click the plus to add your video to the project. Oh, that's good. Ah, my, my video is in the favorites. Yes, I separated it. That video is from our Indonesian vacation and more specifically near Komodo Islands. And Komodo Islands is famous for two things. The first is that it's the border between the two oceans. I forgot which oceans my geography is really bad. But the temperature of the two oceans is very different. One is around 10 degrees and the other one is around 20 degrees. And because of the difference of the temperature, because the two oceans are collapsing there, you're getting a lot of underwater currents and the boats are going crazy when they're passing the currents there. I was so damn scared when we were passing there by boat. And also you can see a lot of water twists. I don't know, is it water twists of water tornadoes? I don't think the tornado is the good word, like when you get the tornado in the water, there are a lot of them there, so it looks dangerous. And the second thing is the Komodo dragons. That's the only place on earth where you can see the last living dinosaurs. Those lizards are so fucking huge, they can kill a human. They were killing buffaloes. Our guide showed us how those guys attacked a buffalo and ate it halfway alive. It was, it was scary to watch video. Now let's jump back to the cover grading. So we have our video open in video lip. Here on the bottom, swipe to the right. And the last button is tone lap. Open it. It is exactly the same like Lightroom. That's my favorite tool in Lightroom to correct the covers of my videos. So let me show you how it works. You have all the basic covers. You have red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. When you click on the blue, you have three parameters hue, saturation and luminosity. If you see, the blue is between the green and the purple. If I click on the hue, you get a slider. When you swipe to the right, you push the blue color to the purple. If you swipe it to the left, you push it to the greens. And it works exactly the same with the other colors. Here we have the yellow. If I push it to the left, I'll push it to the orange. If I push it to the right, I'll push it to the green. So to achieve the teal color, we have to push the blues towards the greens and the greens towards the blues because the teal color is between green and blue. So let's start with achieving the teal color and after that we'll push everything to the orange. Open the blue colors, click the hue and push it towards the green. Of course, not till the end because that's really too much. Something between 30 and 50 is good. Okay, I think around 75. After that, we can control the luminosity. If we push it to the left, we'll make the blues darker. If we push it to the right, we'll make it brighter. For that particular video, I prefer it brighter. Something like that. And I want to boost a little bit the saturation. Of course, you can go also with the desaturated look. It looks very Instagrammy. But my personal preference is more contrast and more saturation. Let's push it around 20. I think I like what I see. Now let's go to the yellow and we'll push the yellows towards the orange, but not too much. Something around 50-ish. And let's check the luminosity. And we'll push it to be a little bit brighter. Now grab the reds. And again, the reds towards the orange. That's on the right side, come here. Something like that. And let's check the luminosity. Yes, I definitely prefer it brighter. And a little bit of saturation. 
Let's play a little bit with orange. We don't push the hue of the orange. We can play with the saturation and the luminosity here. A little bit brighter, maybe something around five. And let's check the saturation. And let's boost a bit the saturation. And we are ready. Our teal and orange color grading is done. Let me show you before and after. See, see how huge is the difference? That's before and that's after. Now, there is one huge downside about that program. That feature is paid. So I cannot export my video. To be able to export my video, I have to upgrade to the pro features. That cost 40 euros a year. It's not that expensive, but I'm already paying Adobe subscription. So I really don't need one more program to edit on my phone. And it's also subscription model. So I dislike that. But I really wanted to show you that paid feature because it's the only program I found till now that allows you to correct the colors the same way how you can correct them in Lightroom. Even in Premiere Pro, you don't have the same tool. You have something similar, but it works a little bit differently. And with that type of tool, when you just click on the color and slide it left or right, it's extremely easy to color correct your colors. So if you don't have Premiere Pro subscription, and you're looking for some professional video editing program, Videolip can be the program you're looking for. The other very popular program is LumaFusion. I still didn't play with it. Now let me show you the method that will be completely for free. For that, we have to open another program. It's called VN App, and it's my most favorite professional application because it's fully for free. You can use all the pro features for free. So here the color grading will do it in a little bit different way. First, we'll go to filters. And with that application, you can import LUTs. That's the only free application that allows you to color grade with your custom LUTs. I did a full video about that. You can check it up here. I already imported my LUTs. So for me, I have already three versions of teal and orange and it's extremely easy to achieve the teal and orange look. It just takes me one click. Let me show you. Click and we are there. I want it darker. I have a teal and orange look for that. Let's apply it and we are done. If you want to go a little bit further with the color grade, you go again to filters, adjust, and then you have control over the highlights, the shadows, the exposure, and all the basic ex exposure settings. It's really powerful too. Let's make the temperature a little bit more warm. And before and after. Now to make the things a little bit easier for you, I'll include a free LUT in the description down below. You can go directly to freegaffo.com slash freebies and you'll find a free LUT that you can download and directly import to your phone and color grade with it. That LUT is part of my bundle for mobile LUTs for color grading. They're really powerful. If you like the LUT, go and check the whole bundle. It's in the shop section of my website. Now let me show you before and after of the clip. Now, don't forget to smile, put like for the video, subscribe and see you in the next episode.